In this video, we're reviewing Monster Jam Steel Titans, the official Monster Jam, Monster Truck, Racing and Stunting video game. Put your jam in the cupboard, leave it for 20 years, you now have Monster Jam. Off we go. Now you know what I'm like, we're just going to talk about what's really good and what's really bad about this game so you can have an informed opinion very quickly. Like a, like a cat chasing a laser beam, straight to the point. I don't know what that analogy was, but anyway, first things first, what's good about this? Well, the handling and the mechanics of the physics are really, really nice in this. Don't get me wrong though, it is not a simulator, this is not a realistic game, it's not a sim. Why is it on this channel? It's mostly sim racing. I thought it might be a simulator. I was wrong. But that doesn't really matter because the actual handling in this is really nice. There's a good amount of depth to how the vehicles move around, how they slide and what you can do with them. And they respond really nicely with the tyres feeling really connected to the road surface and the sort of mass and weight of the vehicle. Though they do feel a little bit light, but the sort of response of them and how they move around over the bumps, now they go over jumps, now they land... It's really, really satisfying and probably one of the best arcade handling type vehicles I've driven recently with a with a gamepad. It's just really satisfying how it moves around. To add to that uh, satisfaction, I made that word up, we're going with it, is the fact that the steering on these uses both analog sticks. So the left analog stick controls the front and the right analog stick controls the rear. So you can turn left or right with the front or back or just use the front or just use the rear. And do you know what? It's really, really fun driving a vehicle like this, especially with how they've actually implemented the vehicle physics in this game. So you find really interesting ways to drive the truck faster by only using the rears around certain corners or slightly using the front and rear. You also find ways of leaning the truck on its side to do certain things or ramping over the jumps and then balancing the truck on the on the rear by modulating the throttle or using the brake to bring the front down. Um, there's really, for what is a, I'd, I'd definitely describe it as an arcade game, arcade handling vehicle, there's a huge amount of depth and it, it's just really, really fun to drive the, I was going to say cars, not really cars are they, drive the monster trucks in this. Uh, I, I would really like this sort of handling to be in like a future arcade type racer. Um, really, 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 I can't state it strong enough, really good uh, arcade handling in this. Su absolutely superb. Uh, whoever did the handling for this, they need a pat on the back, a tea bag and, uh, and a biscuit. Bloody good job, whoever did the handling mechanics. Moving from the best aspect of the game to the worst aspect of this game is, unfortunately, it just... It really lacks content. Not in terms of the number of monster trucks. I'll talk about that. It's a positive. We're being negative right now. But in terms of the environment and the sort of variety of what you do and how, how that's presented and, and the different stages... It's just super, super, super bland. It's so dull. It feels like this was the, the, the environments or the variation in the environment was maybe put together by a, uh, by a train spotter where, you know, standing on a grey platform is exciting to them. So this would have been like, this would have been like a, a crazy acid trip or something. Um, you, you do have like a large game world, as mod a large. You have a moderately sized game environment that you can kind of explore, and you do unlock parts of it, and it builds up. But realistically, it's kind of like what you see in the video here—a sort of deserty type environment with some grass in it. Uh, four or so actual, well, two main sort of racetrack areas which are in the same game world and then you've got the the general stadiums with a couple of different layouts there's some interesting areas in the main game world like a little airporty bit where it's kind of broken up and stuff and there is a little bit of variation there but it's it all just feels really samey you know it would be i, I realize they're trying to make this realistic and uh, and it is a ip game so I, I can see how they've tied it in there but from a from a gameplay perspective of what is fun to actually play through and what's engaging 
it would just be so nice to have these the, the vehicle mechanics they've got in this and do like a racetrack and then that's in a desert environment then you do another one and that's in like a jungle and then you do another one and that's got some like water or maybe maybe the indoor environments are themed between being like aztec or one of them's like medieval i know that's a lot of work for a developer to do and this is very much a, a relatively budget title at launch i understand that but just the fact of the matter is the game world and the over environment if, after about two and a half hours of gameplay it all just feels really really samey and that really makes you just not for, for me personally really stops me from wanting to keep playing it because i'm like well what am i actually there to unlock uh, you know the game world is a huge part of what makes a driving game fun and the levels and unlocking levels and learning how to master those different levels um and it's you know that is what makes a driving game compelling for me um and this this it, that's where this game really 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 under delivers which as i say is a huge same because the the handling which is what most developers totally mess up with uh, driving titles especially arcade games the handling is so good it's like i just want to drive these vehicles in nice places and i would have been totally happy so the environments and the lack of environmental content in this is the biggest letdown of this title you miserable old git i know now let's uh let's be let's be happy for a second happy i don't know how that song goes um one thing they have got right is the different monster trucks in this uh from the fact that they've got it's a license title so they've got all them monster truckies i i, I couldn't know if they were the real ones or not because being a being a tea drinking biscuit dunking brit we, we don't really have I mean, occasionally we have monster trucks over in the uk but it's nothing i've ever been to i had a toy monster truck as a little kid but you know it's, it's not something i'm that familiar with i mean at the end of the day imagine trying to drive one of these monster trucks through like a, a yorkshire village you could take it down whipty wopty gate in in york and uh well that's it you've just destroyed all the history all the tourists getting run over all the buildings falling down it'd be a spectacle i would pay to see that and incidentally i think that would be a fantastic game uh monster jam carmageddon great britain edition come on guys cross licensing that this is a triple a that's millions you're gonna make a lot of money off that idea copyright gamermuscle.com Okay, touch distracted there. This, as I say, being licensed title, has all the Monster Jam trucks that you'll be familiar with with Monster Jam. If you're familiar with it, I'm not. But that does mean that there's loads of actual different truck designs in this, and they do look really nice. The actual bodywork on them, as I say before, it comes off and breaks gradually on all the different vehicles. So when you see the sort of uh, dog, <laughs> the dog top, from, like double double type monster truck falling apart, it looks really cool. You've got like shark monster trucks. You've got a uh, big sort of coal mining type monster truck designs. They, they look really awesome. The details are absolutely fantastic. All the sort of uh, underframe details look really nice, really crisp. You can tell that whoever's modeled the trucks in this has, has really got a good eye for attention to detail. And then you can really appreciate it when you see the sort of suspension compressing and the, the, the roll and all that stuff. The, the individual trucks are, I think, just really, really nice. Um, and, and that huge variety of them there gives you something to unlock which is nice as well unfortunately i'm gonna be a miserable git again we've gone back to the dark side um you you don't get the trucks easily like you, you're playing through the single player and you you gradually unlock stuff but it's spread out over such a huge range of grinding and grinding as i say pretty uninspired events that it, it just doesn't have that reward pacing to it so f fair enough you go okay it doesn't have lots of different fancy environments but maybe you unlock cars and stuff and, and maybe i've been a bit spoiled from games like forza and gt sport where they just throw cars in your face constantly it's like it's like you're being attacked by an angry wasp nest of cars in those titles constant car models here you go here's a car here's a car here's a car um maybe i'm spoiled by them but because this doesn't have any environments, I feel like, you know, you need to they needed to just give you the monster trucks quicker and it'd be really satisfying unlocking them. Instead, what they've gone for is a credit system where you where you get credits for finishing the events and winning them and oh there you can buy a monster truck. 
that's not fun. You know, it'd be really nice to have done the races or the events, and it's like, wow, you've won the event. You've won a monster truck. Great. And now I'll try that new toy. So that is super dull, despite the fact they've got a load of monster trucks down. They do look great. The, the actual unlocking them process is really quite miserable. Positive. Hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, a positive. The audio in this game. Now, I'm going to flavour this positive with a bit of negativity salt. A bit of salt on that, in that positivity soup. The sound does have some glitching occasionally, uh, and I've had it bug out where the sound doesn't work occasionally. But aside from that, I'd say the actual sound tone of like the uh, the engine note is really nice and grunty when you turn it up it, it sort of f sounds like a crazy engine on these monster trucks the actual mud sloshy sound and the dust and the things breaking um and the the environment sort of birds and ambient sounds all that stuff um is perfectly fine and it's not it's not something to be like oh my god this is the best sound ever i've ever heard this isn't a codemasters dirt rally engine sounds let's be honest uh, and you know, it's not a split split second engine sounds that that had really nice engine sounds. But the sounds in this are really nice and grunty and immersive. And you don't when you're playing this, you're not thinking, "Oh, this sounds rubbish." It sounds really pleasant. So I'm giving them I'm giving them a uh, smiley face and a gold star for the sounds, aside from the slight slight bugs uh, in the audio that occasionally happen. Now let's move on to that. Now let's go be positive again. Do you know what? I'm, I'm, good, I'm, being, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood now. Um, the graphics. Okay, this is a mixed bag. I So, uh, you could be... Right, the, the graphics, as in the trucks look really nice. I would say it's, it's bland. The title's bland. But the actual textures and the environments that's there actually looks pretty nice, you know. The, the trees are nice. The, it's got grass. The grass uh, sort of breaks up as you go over it and stuff. Of what's there, the graphics are actually quite reasonable. There's smoke effects, the dust and stuff. That's actually quite good, you know. It's quite good. The problem is there's just not enough of things there. So overall, it ends up visually looking quite quite bland. And, you, you, you know, you don't get the impression when you finish this of being like oh man this was a visual spectacle and i have to say when stuck when you do break certain things it does appear that there's like a the, it's an animation of things breaking rather than it using physics for those objects breaking so when for a good example when you drive over cars in the game they kind of it, each time you hit them they deform a bit it's not like you know i'm not expecting beam mg defamation here let's be clear but it's not like a real-time defamation of you crushing something so driving over the over cars and in the environment isn't really satisfying because it just feels like a baked animation when you drive through uh, crates or objects that are breakable it just feels like a baked animation so what i'm trying to say with the graphics in this is it's kind of a 50 50. i don't think it looks horrible but I don't think the the overall end result of the graphics are anything to write home and sing about. That, that's not a positive or a negative. I say that's a medium. That's a hot. That's that's like you know when you put a pizza in the oven and you slightly overcook it and you can still eat it, but you're disappointed because you gave it two minutes longer than you should have put it in there for. So it doesn't. The cheese is a bit overcooked and the the bread's a bit overdone. It's it's like that. Only the pizza's not got enough ingredients on it, so it's a bit bland. That that's what I'm trying to say about the graphics with this. So moving moving on from that, and kind of related, it's worthwhile saying this this is a console game, guys. This is totally a console game. You go to the graphics options, you can just choose the, the overall quality level, uh, V-Sync. You, you can't go into detailed graphics options to really tweak things. Um, and that's kind of uh, across the board with all the stuff in the menu. This This is a console game. This is a console game. It's a console port on PC and on it's a PlayStation 4 game on a PlayStation 4 you know it's it is you need a gamepad to play it you're probably best off just if you're gonna get this you you you're probably best off just getting it on the console that that's what it's for so uh, I just had to get that in there for anyone that was expecting again more of a PC title this this is it works well on the PC for the most part but it's a console title I think consoleitis that it does yes it is a console title. 
Now, I have to also say it doesn't contain any multiplayer, which is a, a real shame because, again, that would have added a lot to the variety. If we, you know, more, a few more tracks, a few more tracks and multiplayer. And then you could have just raced this with your friends online and, you you know, that would have been really nice. That would have added, that would have been more fun than any of the single player stuff, really. I mean, you could have used the single player to unlock vehicles to then race with your friends in multiplayer. But it doesn't have any multiplayer. It's got some split screen on the console, but I didn't seem to be able to get that to work properly on the PC. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, again, real big shame there. And that's kind of, that's kind of where this game is <laughs> it's it's stable it handles really nice uh it, it's got the stuff that's in the monster jam it is the monster jam official game but overall if you're approaching this as a gamer a generalized gamer then i think you just you, you kind of just feel a bit like uh it's, it's just lacking it is just lacking which is a real shame because this handling, as I say, with some uh, nice game mechanics and some environments, this, this could have been a, like, an absolutely fantastic title. So, there's not that much more I can say in terms of big positives and negatives, to be honest. Uh, in, in terms of the, the bullet points, uh, the big question you guys will have for me is like, well, should I get it, Game of Muscle? Should I spend my money on it? Um, I would say, if you, you know, your, your average viewer of this channel, which is more your sort of hardcore sim player, no, this is not. You know, it's not a hardcore sim. It's not a sim title, obviously. For your more gamer types, again, I'd say, well, it, it, if you're a completionist, you might enjoy going through all this stuff, but there's not enough general game mechanics in there, I think, to justify it. Uh, for, you, you're not going to... You, you're probably going to get this... There's other driving games out there where you've got more sort of... more engaging gameplay. So that really leaves, in terms of people that I think will enjoy this at launch, are... If you're a really big monster truck fan and you specifically like the uh, monster jam st stuff let's say you've just gone to one of the events or you've got a kid that's really into monster trucks then that's that's who this is for and i think that's who who will mostly enjoy it um i could see sort of like a, if you had a i don't know like 10 to 15 year old and you, you like monster, you've been to a monster truck event and you did, they'll probably really enjoy the fact that you can be like, oh, I'm driving the truck that was in the real thing. I can see, really see the appeal of that. The only real counter for those people uh, would possibly be that the difficulty in this, um, in, if you're going through the career mode, is excruciatingly easy at the start and then it gets excruciatingly difficult. So if it's a younger player that's kind of just more into monster trucks, they might find the difficulty uh, needlessly frustrating. So that's worth keeping in mind. But yeah, that's probably the audience is if you're into the monster trucks and the monster jam thing and you specifically, there's a truck there that you like in real life that you kind of want to mess around with in a, in a virtual counterpart in the stadiums that are in real life, relive what you've seen in real life, then I think they're, they're the type of people that will like it. And thankfully, they, they're retailing this at... It's not a crazy AAA price at launch. And I'm sure the price of this will come down as well. So that pretty much that pretty much sums it up uh, f for the most part, you know. Uh, I wish I had multiplayer. Then we, then we could do some like, multiplayer with people. Uh, and that, that'd be fun, but it doesn't. So, well, I, I, I really hope you found this enjoyable, informative, and uh, lets you know the main pros and cons of this title. Uh, make sure that you do indeed click that like button, and that you do indeed click the subscribe button if you enjoy this content. Um, ask any questions in the in the chat if you've got any in the chat in the comments. This isn't a live video, and uh, I will endeavour to answer them to the best of my ability as soon as possible. But until the next one, everybody. Thanks for watching, happy tea drinking, and goodbye.